Hi boys and girls, hope you are all well. I thought I'd read you a story today about one of the most fascinating animals, the striped skunk. So the book we're gonna read today is called Sassafras by Audrey Penn. Sassafras hid in the hollow of a big oak tree. I hope nobody finds me, sighed the sad little skunk. I hope no one is looking. There you are, Sassafras, squealed Porcupine. He poked his spiny head into the log and blinked in the darkness. What you doing in there? Hiding, said the skunk. Gray Squirrel ran across the top of the log. Well, come on out, he called. Let's go run in the leaves. You don't want to play with me, said Sassafras, slipping further into the hollow tree. I might, you know, make a bit of a stink. Too true, too true, sniffed the screech owl. She sat high above the others, always on the lookout for danger. That little skunk can make an awful big smell. We don't mind, do we, gray squirrel, said the porcupine. We just want him to play. But the shy little skunk just lowered his head and said nothing. When Porcupine and Gray Squirrel left, Sassafras climbed out of the log and walked to the edge of Willow Pond. There, in the still, glassy water, he gazed down at his sad reflection. It's hard being a skunk, he told Bullfrog. If I had wings like a bird, I could fly away every time someone teased me or called me a smelly old, stinky old, funky old skunk. Hello, Sassafras, said a clear, strong voice from behind. Sassafras turned around. Hello, Poppy, you smell like root beer. The wise old skunk chuckled. That's not me, said Poppy. I'm chewing sassafras root. Sassafras root is sweet, like you. Aw, oh, I'm not sweet, said sassafras with a blush. Sassafras is just my name. Poppy put down the piece of tasty tree root and joined sassafras by the pond. What are you doing here by yourself, Poppy asked gently. Your friends are running in the field. Nothing much, sighed Sassafras. I'm trying not to stink up the woods. Oh, I see. Poppy's coal black eyes twinkled in the morning light. I used to worry about that very same thing when I was a young skunk, he told Sassafras. But a skunk is a skunk. We are who we are meant to be. That stink is part of being a skunk, like the stinger is part of being a bee. Ouch, squealed Sassafras. Nobody likes bees. That's not true, said Poppy. Bees help the flowers and make sweet honey. It's their stingers nobody likes. Well, around here, said the young skunk, it's the stink nobody likes. Every animal in the forest has some special way of helping it keep safe, explained Poppy. Some animals blend in with the forest. Some animals are big and strong. Some have teeth and claws. Poppy looked at Sassafras with pride. Birds have wings, bees have stingers, porcupines have quills, and skunks have smelly old, stinky old, funky old spray. Pop 
Happy was about to say more when Screech Owl sounded a sudden alarm bringing all the animals together. There's a stranger coming, she called to her friends. Quickly, quickly, everybody hide! Gray Squirrel ran to the end of the tree branch and threw acorns into the underbrush. Porcupine scurried up a pine tree, shook those long, several spiny quills, and sent them sailing down below. And Sassafras stamped his foot and snarled at the sound of rustling leaves. But when the sounds grew closer, the brave little skunk turned his back to the noise, raised his thick bushy tail straight into the air, and sprayed two yellow streams of skunk oil. Bullseye, cheered Sassafras, quickly moving away. That should send them running. But instead, the woods stood still and quiet. Sassafras watched curiously as the underbrush slowly parted and Gray Fox, new to the forest, stepped forward. Gray Fox crinkled her nose at the skunk smell, plucked the stinging quill from her tail, and rubbed her head where the gray squirrel's acorn had hit. Gosh, she sighed, I only wanted to play. And with a slow, sad turn and a drooping head, she started to walk away. Please don't go, called Sassafras. He waddled towards the fox and put his soft, gentle paw on hers. We're sorry. We didn't mean to frighten you, but we didn't know who you were. I know, whispered the gray fox. I'm not bright and pretty and easy like the red fox, and I don't make loud noises. I think your fur is beautiful, said Sassafras. And Poppy says your gray fur and quiet ways help you to blend in the woods to keep you safe. All of us have some special way of staying safe, he proudly explained. Bees have stingers, porcupines have quills, and skunks! yelled everyone else, have smelly old, sticky old, funky old spray. You know, said Sassafras, as he and his friends led the gray fox towards Willow Pond, we are who we are. That's the way it should be. Even smelly old, stinky old, funky old me. And that is the end. Very sweet. Now, boys and girls, I really like the message in this story that every animal has its own way to stay safe and protect itself. And just like our neighbors, the skunks here, if you ever see a skunk in your backyard, don't be nervous. Just make sure you stay back and give it space. Um, the striped skunk is very common in Massachusetts and it lives in a variety of different habitats like meadows and fields and forests and even urban and suburban areas. Um, they weigh anywhere between 6 and 14 pounds and they have this definitive white stripe. And this white stripe is similar to your uh, fingerprints. It's kind of tells the uniqueness of one skunk to another because no skunk looks exactly the same. Now, they usually have really long nails which help for digging. They are what's called an omnivore. They eat a variety of different things like fruits and insects and even stuff like trash and garbage. Now, predators of these guys would be owls and fox in the wild and even humans. They get hit by cars a lot. Um, and right now, between February and March and April, they're mating and getting ready to have their young. And in April till June, they'll have um, their young. They call them kits. They can have anywhere from two to 10 babies at a time. Um, they live only two or three years old in the wild is typical. And in captivity, they can live up to about 15. Now, 
The one thing I want to say, just like in our story, don't be nervous around skunks because most skunks will give you a warning before they're going to spray. They will posture themselves and kind of lift up their tail and spread their fur out. And they will even show you their very special glands, which are little pouches in the back, which contain that stinky oil or that musk. And they can spray up to 10 feet away. So it's very strong and it's very irritating to your eyes and your nose. And it's a great way for our friends, the skunk, to stay safe. So I hope all you are staying safe at home with your families, and I hope you're having a great day. I miss you all very much, and I hope you enjoyed reading the book Sassafras. Take care, boys and girls. See you later.